What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, um, we are having some fun with the M5. So you guys have been really wanting some M5 content. So unfortunately, I have not been able to get the car started, as you guys know. But in the near future, either my boy Roland is flying down from Texas to come help us out, or we're going to be towing the car down to SSR and have them work on the car as well. So it's going to be either or. I've never done a transmission swap, let alone a clutch and flywheel alignment job. So, you know, in a type of car like this, like an M5, I really want to make sure the job is properly done. Erlon has pulled transmissions out of a, like probably a couple hundred cars. A little over exaggerated. But at the same time, he's really, really, really good at what he does. And obviously, guys, SSR, they are very, very, very experienced. Plus, I love the paperwork that I get whenever I get work done at a shop. Especially in such an expensive car, having that paperwork is a huge plus. So I'm kind of willing to spend that extra moolah. But yeah, actually, yesterday we picked up a hood for the M5 and uh, we actually put it on and then we headed home. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in that footage right now. <laughs> Look a ton better. Literally the exact same paint color too. So we got we got a pretty good deal. I think I got it for like 350 bucks, but it's already paint match, original paint, original hood, um, which is the absolute best thing you can possibly do. Mainly because the hood is part of the front end. So when you get something repainted in the front end, it typically starts paint chipping. So I wanted to get the original panels if possible. And thankfully, after waiting some time, I did find one. Now we are heading back to the house to put on the trunk. So the only other thing on this car that's not on the car properly is the trunk. The trunk is a trunk they picked off a pick and pull. They threw it on the car and it doesn't even latch. None of the mechanisms work literally nothing's connected um, because they took off the carbon fiber one which is the one they included but they took it off because they, they put back some ugly one so they can send it off to the auction long story short we need to put back the carbon one because it looks a lot better i'm hoping they didn't cut the wires or anything because if they cut the wires it's gonna be a whole mess in itself but without further ado let's head down to my dad's place and start working on the bad boy finally made it back to the house we have a bunch of things over here all my workout gear and stuff like that i have the bench over here my two dumbbells from bowflex um, my brother actually he's working out from the house I actually have a gym membership again. So I actually re-signed up for the gym membership. So I'm going back to the gym. So I no longer need this stuff. Thankfully, the whole COVID stuff and everything, people are able to go back to the gym. So that's what I'm going to do. But my brother, he prefers these bad boys. So I'm going to go ahead and give those to him. But as for the M5, guys, it is looking so, so, so much better with the original hood. Literally, the paint color is absolutely perfect. I'm super happy about that. Obviously, the bumper is going to have to get repainted, redone. This is going to have to get redone and repainted. And as for this fender as well, this is, I believe this is the side that got hit. So we do have a headlight in there but the bracket it's not looking like perfect gaps on this side so we have to get brand new brackets on this side but other than that I think it's gonna be absolutely perfect fit me end of the day I mean I put this hood on only one time I didn't really adjust anything and it looks so 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 much better like it almost looks perfect like just take a look at that anywho so the main thing for today guys is this trunk so this trunk he picked it off from pick and pull from a 550i and then it has none of the original components so um it, the key lock doesn't work this button here doesn't work these lights are not even connected but we do have a good emblem there, which is great. But long story short, this trunk is no good to us. So we're going to hopefully take it off. I'm hoping the previous owner did not cut the wires and be able to put on the carbon fiber one and just rewire everything. We should be good to go on that. So overall, the body and everything should be in one piece. Let's go ahead. My brother's going to help me to get the carbon fiber truck and get to work. CSL trunk. Um, this actually, uh, I don't even know how to explain to you guys. This is one of the main reasons we actually got the car. I mean, we already got the car for stupid cheap, five grand for a clean tire, but obviously it has more issues in a crankshaft sensor, which is what the previous owner told me it was. He's like, it was just front end damage and a crankshaft sensor. It looks like it was front end damage and a bad flywheel and clutch and bad, possibly a bad transmission. So we're gonna be in it a couple thousand dollars, but end of the day, um, you know, we got the car for five and it came with this. If you guys know what this is, 
This is a carbon fiber trunk, obviously. CSL, obviously. But what else is this side? Do you know what brand this is, John? Uh, I mean, uh, Leah? Uh, I got no idea. You got no idea? Nope. Right, look at that badge. Oh, shoot. This is a Sabon hood, guys. I mean, trunk. This is, I think, a roughly around like $1,000 original. So that is insane. And also, what I like about Sabon parts, guys, is the fact that their fitment is really, really, really good. So actually, when we install this, it should be like, oh, we have footman, which I was super excited about. Um, and we can actually put the plates back on and everything. So uh, let's go ahead and get this thing on there, dude. I'm pretty excited about this. Right. Guys, after finicking it with some time, I don't know why this, this button right here does not work. I don't know why we plugged it in. We tried the other hood latch from the other one. It still doesn't work, so that kind of sucked. We did get the hood latch itself to work, so if you go ahead and unlock it, it does work from the key, and then it also works from the interior, which is great. It's just this button. I tried both buttons. I could be the wiring. It could be a fuse. Not really too sure what that is exactly. I'll look into it more. But as for now, at least the trunk opens and closes. It's in its place. Let's go ahead and just assemble the rest of the trunk here. And I'll do some more research on that later tonight. But guys, it's looking long. Let me go ahead and close it real quick for you guys. Look at that. Mm. Fitment and everything. We're gonna have to give this thing a wash. The all right now, he's taking off. I don't think you can put on that BMW emblem. No, you can't. Uh, you are taking off. What are you taking off exactly? Just taking off the license plate right now. License plate. We're gonna need the frame as well. We're actually gonna put all this cushioning back as well. I'm super happy about this trunk. Actually allows you to use all the original interlays, which is super nice. And then obviously, uh, we have October plates, which is super good. So once hopefully you get this thing driving, we can literally drive it publicly on roads because we are good there. Uh, yeah, we need those brackets. And um, if you guys need a space gray E60 hood, just hit me up. It's completely for free honestly one of you guys it'll come literally complete with the brackets the hood latch everything the only thing i'm going to keep is this button here just so figure out why mine isn't working i'm connecting it right here in this plug but uh it's just not working some kind of weird thing anywho you guys need a free trunk you guys are local i will not ship so if you guys are local hit me up it is yours bro i am so stoked to put this thing fully assembled oh my god we got we need to take this thing to ssr oh guys look at the csl oh she's already modifying we haven't got the car to drive we're already modifying it oh man it's kind of like a modify and at the same time it's kind of like you have to do it because this trunk would not open because the, the locks and everything is not original now everything opens and closes properly so at least now we take it down to them. They're not gonna have any issues getting around the car, getting in and out and all that stuff. But anyway, let's go ahead and figure out uh, how this bracket goes on and we can put the plates on. We should be good. Wait a second. It looks like they put some European plates on here, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Oh man, they drilled some I holes. I love European plates. Yeah, but they drilled some holes, man. Ah. <laughs> oh. Do you guys wanna see something absolutely insane? This is the hidden, this is a hidden cubby on the, the, the 5 Series and the M5. Check this out, guys. Are you guys ready? I think we should throw in an ad right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> what? Nice. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Actually, I like how it has like a perfectly good spot right here to actually put things. Oh yeah, this is the first aid kit, dude, that we got. This actually goes That's right That's so nice. Dude, it's so good. I pulled the side of their clean, the other the other clean side on find they had. Yeah, you you would do something like that. I mean, just pull out a first aid kit from BMW. Bro, because look at that. that. Look at that. That is nice. And I have the tow hook in the front. Something's missing here. I'm gonna try to collect everything here to fully restore this thing, guys. Oh, this thing goes over here. There you go. There you go. Nice. All right, finished product. Yeah, let's go ahead and check back with you guys once we get this whole trunk back together, and then uh, once we start cleaning this car, because I, I, 
I just cannot wait till this thing's fully cleaned up. And then we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna call SSR, have some kind of tow, tow truck come down here and uh, get this thing shipped out to SSR. We'll see you guys in LA, hopefully in an upcoming video because uh, I'm gonna be working on this now. This isn't something I'll be pushing off for another month. We are sending this off to LA in the next couple of days. Bro. So satisfying. <laughs> we got the trunk in there fully lined up, pretty, pretty much working. Everything else works other than that one hood latch thing right there. Like I told you guys, we'll get into that hopefully eventually. Sabon right there, guys. We have all this stuff in here, first aid kit in there, and we have the whole trunk together looking so good. This is a little bit wompy right now, but I mean, over time, it will just pretty much, you know, get its normal shape back. Uh, but yeah, looking good, looking good. We do have everything where it needs to be. Even have the little manual there chilling. Oh, this looks so good, dude. Uh, let's just go ahead and just put back the rear seats, and then um, I guess at this point, clean up our mess and start washing the bad boy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. Let's do it. So we just ended up cleaning the M5. I'm going to show you guys a little cinematic because you know your man hasn't shown you guys a little cinematic in a minute now. So let's go ahead and show you guys the cinematic of the M5. The guy just packed himself with some water. <laughs> Anywho, so shout out to him for helping me clean up the car. We just gave it a quick little wipe down, but uh, yeah, let's get some cinematic moments. Back at it again, boys. <laughs> How you feeling, big boy? I love Chipotle, man. When was the last time you ate Chipotle, my dude? I ate Chipotle, I think, two weeks ago. That's it? I mean, you, Bro, you gotta eat like every single day. <laughs> I apologize, Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, honestly, I've been hitting up Chipotle all the time. They actually get back to you, which is super, super, super cool, but I need to get a sponsorship one day by them. I absolutely love their food. Anyhow, without further ado, my mouth is watering again. I gotta get to it. We are officially at the end of the video. I just want to show you guys the garage. It's really coming along. We put some LED lights over here and over here. I still need to wire these together. But uh, the other side, I did get the whole lane strip pretty much right there. I cannot wait to put more plaques for more builds right over there. And I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do one for the M5 because we are rebuilding it. Some of you guys have already contributed to the build. But on top of that, I want to put a major discount on one of the items. I might do another item next video, but at least this item is going to be at least 66% off. So for those of you guys who haven't copped the phone case, I am dropping the price from $15 to $5 and cop whatever else you guys want from the store. You guys will be shouted out in the next video, the next M5 video at least, so you know. You guys know you supported the M5 build and you guys names will also be featured on the plaque which will be up over here next to I believe the M4 one which should be pretty sick M4 M5 but yeah guys pretty much gonna conclude the video I'm gonna go ahead and do a few phone calls to see what kind of truck can actually take the car here um, to LA and then once SSR gets it they'll go and do the flywheel and clutch and once they do the flywheel and clutch we're actually gonna go down there and pick it up because we're gonna actually try to do the raw bangs and a few other major things on the car as well we're gonna try to do so many things gonna cost a lot of money but it's definitely worth it hopefully with the brand new clutch, new flywheel, new rod bearings, I think new squirters, we're gonna do new Vanoss lines, we're gonna do a whole bunch of things to the M5. It should be an absolute perfected beast. That's all assuming the engine's good, so please God. But yeah guys, if you guys wanna support the build, make sure to check out the link down below, 66% off those phone cases, and cop whatever else you guys want. You guys will be shot in the next video. We're gonna be working on some of the other builds in the meantime while this car gets shipped off and getting worked on, but as soon as it's ready for the rod bearings, we're gonna be getting our booties down to LA and hopefully start working on that again. If you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cause I wanna have